Hemisphere. Short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. Um, I was out and about today in Tesco's, picked up a can of this hemisphere, stu hemisphere stuff, which is brewed by the um, uh, Four Pure Brewing Company, which is based in London, in uh, South London to be exact, in Bermondsey, just literally just over the river. Oh, um, they are a family run um, concern and they have been brewing since 2013. Um, I was looking this up um, on their website and I'll compare and contrast what they've got on their cans. Firstly, this is a 330ml can, it is a 4.2 session IPA. Um, it's got some information um, on the side, it's to say it's 4.2, um, the unit's 1.4, blah blah blah. It's got the IBU on there, which is the International Bittering Units. I'll come to that in a minute. Um, and it's just saying, yeah, it's a session IPA, blah, blah, blah. It's got the ingredients. This is vegan as well, if that's what you're into. Um, if you go to the website, um, it's got some of the spiel about this beer. Um, and they've got this spiel. I don't know why they do it. It's just like the transatlantic... Um, oh, no, sorry, not that. Um, this is the description. So, forest, foothills, hike or fly, peaceful days on sunny trails, crazy nights under city lights, dig for treasure under the moon, search for horizon by, by hot air balloon. balloon. Hemisphere offers you vibrant tropical flavours, a gentle bitterness and a clean hoppy finish. What the fuck are you talking about? Just get to the point. Don't give it all the flowery language. Um, anyway... That's just a minor gripe, by the way. Um, as I say, these are um, a family brewery. They've been brewing since 2013, and um, they look quite promising. I'm gonna see if I can pick some more of their stuff up. And I do, I know I was slagging them off there a little bit, um, nothing personal, but they're a craft brewers, and they have made it into uh, Tesco's. So that is brilliant, I think. So hats off to you there. Um, let's just get this poured out. So they say it's an American IPA, um, and they also say what hops they've used in here as well. And they look to be, um, a lot of them are American style hops. So as the, as the, um, as the description says, um, it's, uh, it's gonna be like a, an IPA, a, a hoppy IPA. They're using Mosaic, Simcoe, Cascade and Sentinel. Yeah, so that's gonna be, you know, smell hoppy and fruity and you give you that American flavour. Now the IBUs I was talking about, they're the International Bitterness Units. Uh, on the can it says it's uh, 33 and on the website it says 42. What is that? What is the true figure? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't really mean much, it just gives you an idea of the bitterness of the hops that they're using in this. Let's give it a smell. Well there's definitely hops there for starters. Nice sweet fruit there. Slight grapefruit, a lot more um, like the mango and tropical fruit. Um, pineapple. A little tiny bit of malt, but not a lot. A little tiny bit of pine as well. But let's, uh, let's dig in and see what's going on. Firstly, yeah, there, there it is, very slightly cloudy. Medium carbonation there. I don't know if you can see that through the haze. No head on it whatsoever. Let's give it a go. Yeah, it's not bad. It doesn't stand out as being amazing, put it that way. I mean, this could be any one of them IPAs that are being brewed now by these little craft brewers. Um, 
it's definitely a session now. I could I could see me sinking quite a few of these. As I say, it's 4.2, so you could definitely session that. There's a lingering grapefruit on that. <clears throat> That you you get that stays with you, but the fruits and everything they die pretty quickly, um, which is which is unfortunate because you really want to get that flavour. It's okay. It's not bad. It doesn't stand out as being amazing, but there's nothing in there with alarm bells that would make me want to put this down and say I'm never touching it again. Um, and this is available in, in Tesco's. Uh, I think they do an offer, three for a fiver, and I've got two other cans, which I'm going to review tonight as well. So if you buy three, you get them for a fiver, which isn't bad, but it's uh, they're three 30ml cans, you know, which is usual fare for... Um, craft beer. Um, shame about the the IBUs on the side um, with contrasting information or different information from the website but these are just minor gripes. It's an okay, okay session IPA. Doesn't stand out as being amazing, um, no surprises, um, just yeah just a, a steady session ale. I would give that, I'd give it a six and a half out of ten um, why would I not give it more? Well, as I say, it doesn't stand out as being absolutely amazing. Um, the IBUs differ from that to the website, which I'm, is just a minor gripe. Um, the flim flam on the back as well, you know. These are just my opinions, by the way. You know, please, if you're watching this, don't take this to heart. Um, f uh, for Pure Brewery, if you're watching this, it is nothing personal. Um, it's just my opinion, you know, and as a critic, I can do that. I, as I say, I do take my hat off to anyone who brews beer, and certainly these craft brewers who get themselves or get their beers into Tesco's, I think that's brilliant, and that's the whole point of craft brewing. Um, it's just, it just doesn't stand out for me. Sorry, yeah, it doesn't stand out, but there's nothing bad about it. At, well, it's just an average IPA, but it's okay. It's good. Would I recommend it? Give it a go. See what you think. I can't imagine this being anybody's favourite go-to. It, it tastes too much like all the others. And remember, life is too short to be drinking shitty beer. <laughs>